Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metal Arts, and in this week's video, we're going to finish our tool offsets uh, that we started last week. So, we're going to use our trusty Tool 99 and we'll wrap up the offsets. So, to continue where we were from the last uh, offsets video and that practical application series that I was doing, um, you know, I made a joke at the end about Tool 99, and you know, it comes up a couple times in this video. I, I do apologize. It's kind of difficult to do a video showing offsets without multiple cameras, and I, I have one camera that I use for all this, so it was, it was kind of tough. And worse still, Linux CNC, I, there's just no good way to do screen recording on that. I tried 15 different ways. All right, it's an exaggeration. I tried four different ways, really, four different software tools to uh, record the screen while I was doing uh, the offsets. I just couldn't do it. I ended up actually pointing the camera at the thing and, and going that way. So it's not the best footage today, folks, but hopefully this gets you an idea about how to do your offsets and also um, why you might use uh, tool offsets. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's let's take a look at uh, getting the offsets, getting the, the information you need first. So we'll gather all our off offset information and then the second thing we do is we enter that information into our controller so that when we want to change uh, tools, we don't have to worry about uh, touching off our tools or anything else. It already knows the heights that the tool is supposed to be at. So let's take a look. Okay, when we're talking about tool offsets, we're going to need a couple of things to measure from. Now you can measure, you can choose to measure from any reference surface. Uh, what I've chosen to do is I use a one, two, three block that only gets used for tool offsets. And so I also have you know, what I was jokingly referring to as tool 99 the other day. Um, this is simply just a dial test indicator mounted on a pin, right? But it stays in this holder, nothing changes. So this is my reference tool. Uh, when we do this, we do this as tool zero although I can measure off this as a uh, tool 99. You have to be careful when you do that. When you're doing reference surfaces, you want to be on tool zero. I learned this the hard way. Tool 99, even though it's got a zero offset, because it's the reference tool, um, it can throw your Z height way off. Right? But we will talk about why I know. So let's start. The machine is already homed. You gotta make sure you do this exactly the same way each time. Um, you know, I give my tools about a quarter turn of, a tight, of tightening on the drawbar. Okay. We'll get the tool in here, and let's see if we can bring you in a little closer. Sorry, folks. There is a method to my madness here. Okay, so, so bring it down. And anytime you're using a test indicator, you want to have some preload on it. So I start at rapid, then I go 10 at a time, get close, then I go to my thousandths, and I'm coming one at a time. I think you guys can see that okay. I'm almost there, now I'm going to go to ten thousandths, just, there we go, alright, way more accurate than what this thing can really do, but it's showing me directly on zero, so I'm going to touch off my zero for Z, I'm just going to tell it coordinate system, you know, we're using G54, it doesn't matter, um, but I'm telling it that that, that is, so what, at one hundredths depth, that is my, my zero point. Okay, from here, now all you have to do, let's go to a wider angle shot. All we do now, and this is something that's pretty well documented um, online, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this part of it. Basically, 
we're going to go through for each tool, and this is the tool that I replaced, so I've got to remeasure this. For each tool, you're going to basically come down. I didn't change any zeros, I didn't change any tool in my code. All I did was just put the tool in place. And now come down and either using the paper method or you know bring it down until you can't slide the block underneath it anymore. Uh, with a sharp point like this, I'll probably go with that route um, uh, so it doesn't damage this. And write down the, num the, z the corresponding Z number. Don't change anything, don't press touch off or anything else, just write that number down. So let's do that for this one. I'll wrap it, and I'll just move down until I get close. Okay, so I can still get underneath there. I'm going to come down ten thousandths at a time. getting close there. All right, now I'm going to go to thousands. There. Okay. So at that point it just stopped. I can't can't actually slide it under there freely. So that's my, my zero point. So I look at my screen and it says negative 2.7583. Okay, so this tells me that to get to that same point, the head had to travel down negative 2.7583 inches. Right? That's your offset. Uh, once you've done this for all of your tools, We'll put it into the tool table, into the library, and I'll, uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, uh, have your offsets all done. All right. Sorry for the uh, weird screen capture. This is a, a Linux machine. I don't have screen capture software on it. I know it exists, but basically, so now we're at our machine and we've done all our measuring. Right. We're going to come in and we're going to say File, Edit Tool Table. This is all my tools that I have in here right now. We're just going to change a few of them, but adding a new tool is simply just click the add, add tool line here, right? You'll get a new line and you fill it out. There's really, you don't have to put everything in here, but it's good to have some basics. So, for instance, tool 31, tool 31 is 7476, negative 74. Seven six, and I save my file. I reread it each time, just out of habit. Okay. Tool thirty, and it came out to be negative two point seven five eight three, and we'll save it and reread it. Okay. So that was the one that I just changed. All right. Uh, the next one in here, tool 60, I came up with negative 3.39, oh, wow, there's only a tenth difference here. It's probably less than the machine can actually detect. And tool 55, two, four, let's see. 4248. Save file. Alright, so those were the four that I, I saved. Now, uh, or that I changed. So I reread it and I reload the table to make sure that everything is proper here. I quit and then I do file reload tool table just to make sure that Linux knows that I edited these files and it's got the most up to date uh, files in here. From here on out, it's base, your basic machining, you know, um, get your part in, get your zeros set, and um, you should be able to change tools now 
without needing to uh, touch off again and uh, you know, for each for each tool itself. Well, I hope you found that uh, helpful. I'm a little on the dry side. I know I, if you're not actually actively working on uh, CNC machines, um, tool offsets may not be your thing. But um, you know, just trying to uh, to help people out. This was one where. There just wasn't a lot of great uh, information out on the web, and so I thought I'd, uh, I'd do that. I'm not saying that this is great, but um, it's a little bit more, and it's a resource that people can use. Uh, so I hope you liked it. Please give me some comments. Um, I know I tried to, uh, in editing, I tried to correct any of the things when I, I misspoke, like calling, calling this a dial test indicator. It's probably better referred to as a plunge test indicator, right? Um, a little different, uh, little different indicator. And so there's there's a lot of little things like that, uh, folks. But I um, hope you get the idea. I, if you did like this video, I'd appreciate thumbs up, comments. I, you know that uh, is always good. If you saw something that I didn't catch or didn't correct, feel free to put a comment in there. Um, you know, comments are, are good things. They're meant to start a conversation. So by all means, do that. And if you haven't already done so. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Click that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. All right. Thanks, folks. Take care. Hey, this is Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this quick video, or, yeah, I'll start over. <laughs>